Hey guys, what's happening? I got the Gorilla Cart here. It's a polycart heavy duty with a quick release dumping bed. As you can see here in the photos, I figure I'd do a quick review of it because it looks like a quality product. I just took it out of the box and saw the hardware and everything and I was impressed. I was like, wow, this thing's really well made. So here it is. Here's all the parts, hardware. And there's Jace, you can see the scale of it, he's my helper. Four big off-road tires. So I'm going to throw this thing together and I'll do a quick review of it, let you know the quality of it. But as I said, when I took it out of the box and I saw the initial quality, I was really impressed. I mean, the hardware is, uh, is really good. I mean, the pivots and the joints, you can see here, the, uh, the linkage used. It's really, really heavy duty uh, and just well done, you know. Uh, so anyways, stay tuned if you're interested in this cool uh, lawn, you know, yard maintenance type cart. Throw logs in there, leaves, etc. And then wheel them over rough terrain to wherever you need to and then dump it. How perfect is that? Alright guys, so looking at the carts here on Amazon, you can see they have a number of different types of carts. I actually have the 1200 pound unit, which is this guy here, $129. But they also have a 600 pound unit that will probably work for most of your needs. But let's click on this 1200 pound unit. Or 1200 pounds it handles you know 40 inches by 25 inches it comes with a one-year limited warranty I'm also going to add the link below so you can uh, swing right over to Amazon if you like this review um, and you could use the uh, link there if you're interested in this unit they also sell this at Home Depot and places like that and Lowe's and stuff so you'll see it around how strong are you really strong really strong you could pick up that heavy tire yeah <laughs> yeah all right so here are the instructions and as you can see, there's all the parts, and I already showed you all the parts. And then when you look at the steps here, it really doesn't look too bad. It's only like six or seven steps. And you can see here the tools required. we got screwdriver, needle nose, and two adjustable wrenches, which I have right here. One, two, needle nose, and a large uh, Phillips. And I'll just turn the page quick. And this will probably take me about a half hour to an hour to put together, I'm guessing, because I take my time when I do this stuff. I just noticed when looking at this hardware that they actually like Daddy. assemble it all. Daddy. So you can see, hang on one sec, Chase. The washers and the, you know, nut are already on it. Like how cool is that? Usually when you put crap like this together, everything is separated. All the washers and everything and it, it just takes so much longer. So this is just going to be that much easier to put together. Uh, just a quick note. Well that went way quicker than expected. Uh, my helper abandoned me. He rode his bike and then left. Bones just laid there and did nothing. I put this thing together. And you can see here, it's got the nice handle, and you can see the wheels turning. Uh, it rolls very nice because of these big, huge rubber wheels. And the build quality is excellent, as I said earlier. It's just as good as I was expecting it to be. It went together really easy. You can see this handle here, so you can lift and then dump. And it dumps like so. And you can see the engineering is quite good, the way that it pivots. So a lot of the weight is on the back, so it makes the dump real easy if it's heavily loaded. You see how the wheels come forward? You see the wheels, how they move like that? So it makes it way easier to dump if it's very, very heavy. You know, if you have like a huge load of logs or something, and you know, it'll be like, ooh, having to lift it up. It like actually gets easier as you go because the wheels move in like that. You know, that's just really good engineering. And uh, like I said, uh, this thing's awesome. So I can't wait to use it and actually try it out. Uh, I got tons of leaf work to move and I got logs and stuff to move so this thing will help with all those tasks. Alright so now I got this thing under load and <laughs> I want to show you how smooth it rides. Check this out. And you can see just the articulation of the wheels. You can make unbelievable turns with this thing. It's awesome. But here we go. And you can see it's gliding very nice. Alright Jace we got a U-turn this sucker. Let's show how quick this, how easy this thing can is to turn around. Whoa! It's amazing! Hang on tight! Oh. Alright, hold on tight. We're going to go down some steep terrain here in a second. Okay. Ooh. Can you hang it on? No, I'm not going to go fast. This is steep. Alright, hang on, buddy. You're hanging on tight. Ooh. Whoa! <laughs> I'll slow you down. Oh! Oh! 
So here in the real world, this is what I have to do. I gotta clean up all these leaves. You can see how they get piled up next to the fence, you know, because I leaf blow. If you get low, you can see how deep, you know, they're kind of deep um, towards the edge here, especially over in the distance there. So I just uh, you use this cart, load it up, bring it uh, into the woods and dump it. So I'm just gonna show you that. Real world application, I'll show you how the dump works when it's full and stuff like that. So as you can see guys, this thing's a workhorse. Uh, it can take a beating too, like running it through bumpy terrain. But also, if you want more capacity, it's got these slots here. Now ideally, you're not gonna wanna use this kind of wood. I use three quarter inch plywood. It's obviously way too heavy, but it's all I had. And I had so many leaves to move that I was like, I was willing to just deal with the extra weight. But anyway, you just make, you just, I just use plywood. I cut this three quarter, uh, the perfect size, so it fits right in these slots and it just fits in, boom, and you literally, you know, easily double the capacity of this thing. Watch your fingers there, buddy. Like so. So, you know, it definitely adds some weight. Yeah, I'll give you a ride in a sec, buddy. It adds a lot of weight, but if you're moving very light leaves and you're just trying to get the mass amount of quantity possible, you know, and you're moving it from one location and just, you know, dumping leaves or whatever, this is a great solution. But I highly recommend using like quarter inch plywood, not three quarter inch plywood. I mean, you can get away with half inch probably, but quarter inch would probably be ideal along with some pretty strong uh, posts for the uprights um, and you should be good to go. So. All right, guys, so that is about it for this review. And one other thing I didn't mention was you can turn the handle around and hook it up to a hitch if you want to pull it with like a quad or a tractor or something like that. Another unbelievable feature that I forgot to mention. But again, for $129, you get 1,200 pound capacity and you get the big wheels so it's easy to go over stuff. Uh, it's a really high quality unit. Um, I never planned on reviewing it, but after I got it, I was like, why not? This thing's phenomenal and I'm sure people who use wheelbarrows and, and like I've been using uh, tarps and stuff to drag leaves and wheelbarrows and all this other crap. This is so much easier and for $129, I literally got so many jobs done in like a quarter of the amount of time it would have taken um, using other tools that I've used in the past like tarps, wheelbarrows, etc. So I can't recommend this particular item enough. You definitely get what you pay for and you know it's a top quality product in my opinion. So. Again, have a great day, and the link uh, for Amazon, if you want to purchase it through there, is down below. All right, guys, I'll catch up with you next time, and take care.